Welcome back to World Crisis Radio for our second hour. And at this point in the broadcast, as we always try to do, we want to get an update on the legal battle to expose the uh, qualifications or lack thereof of one Barack Hussein Obama, a.k.a. Barry Sotero. Uh, where, where was he born? How old is he? Another interesting question. Uh, and for that, no better place to go than the source, and that would be Philip Berg of Philadelphia, Democratic Party official, Democratic Party candidate for governor and senator from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and the friend of the program. So we welcome you, Phil. Please give us an update on what's going on. Well, my pleasure to be on with you. Uh, significant, what we had hoped, but I mentioned on the show, I believe, last week, was this coming Monday, October 26th. 2009, we had oral arguments scheduled in the Third Circuit Court of Appeals on the case of Berg versus Obama, where the judge threw us out on standing. The court has uh, canceled the hearing, uh, but said because they said they're going to decide the case on the briefs. Um, we shouldn't take that as a bad sign. We can't take it as a good sign. Uh, many times it, it happens that way when the court, because before the hearings they review the briefs, and it could mean that the uh, three-judge panel has made a predetermination or at least that they have enough facts there to make a decision on the case without uh, oral argument. Sometimes oral argument is scheduled uh, when the um, specific um, uh, person has uh, uh, a specific question. Uh, you know, when one or the other judges have a specific question to ask counsel. So we're not going to take it as discouragement. We're going to hope... Now, last time I had a case where the court took it under advisement under the brief on the day of the uh, oral scheduled oral argument. That's the day the opinion came out. So we could be getting opinions soon. Um, hopefully the judges will do what they should do, in my opinion, and grant me standing. Uh, standing because I represent you, Webster, and everyone else in this country. And the judge's opinion, as far as I'm concerned, is outrageous because he basically said that no one has standing to challenge the Constitution of the United States, which... To me, doesn't make any sense. But if we're turned down, we will appeal the case. Uh, we are determined. We have two other cases, so we have a total of three cases pending. The other two cases are the Washington, D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals. Now, significant, just uh, the other day, uh, the judge uh, dismissed the case of uh, the attorney in New Jersey who had a federal case uh, pending, and he dismissed that on standing. So uh, we'll have to see where we are. Right now there's a couple cases pending out in California, or one, one case with two attorneys. Um, and then uh, we have our three cases, which is in the Third Circuit Court of Appeals in Philadelphia and the two in the D.C. Uh, Court of Appeals. So we feel, um, you know, we, we are the most focused. Uh, we have the most cases there, and we're determined. And what we're trying to do, and I'm spreading my wings a little here, is to raise the public awareness. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't done it, after the show is over, please, please go to your computer. Bring up my website, obamacrimes.com, O-B-A-M-A-C-R-I-M-E-S dot C-O-M dot com, obamacrimes.com. And make sure you spread it to everyone you know, everyone in your address book or people that you don't, add them on um, as far as your friends, your neighbors, your family members, because we, I really believe if we raise the public awareness, to 75 to 100 million people, we can force Obama to basically put up or shut up. And uh, I, I really think that uh, we can do that even before the courts make a decision because it's outrageous. And remember, we're not only talking about the situation before how he fraudulently got on the ballot. Um, and, and when I say fraudulent, because I still believe his legal name was Barry Sutura when he was adopted in Indonesia. And if he hasn't legally changed his name, He's committed fraud every time he signs his name as Barack Hussein Obama in each of the 50 states uh, to be on the ballot. So, And since then, being sworn in as Barack Hussein Obama and signing all the legislation, I believe everything he's done is void or avoidable. Um, that's crucial. Uh, so if he hasn't legally changed his name, um, I think he's in deep, deep trouble. Uh, remember Watergate. Watergate was a break-in, something small, and what forced Nixon out in the long run was the cover-up. Well, we now have a cover-up because we have it from before the election, but definitely after the election. And while he's in the White House, we believe he's a usurper. So we have what's called, you know, a cover-up here. So I think there's many ways that we can do it, but we need the public behind us. We need more and more people to do it, and uh, we could use some funding. It's now 15 months. We're still pursuing. 
I'm dedicating my efforts to this. We're not going to give up the ship. We have three cases pending, and uh, we're going to move forward in that area. Any uh, questions from you, Webster, right now? Well, I, I believe the original uh, scheduling of this was for this coming Monday, the 26th. That's correct. Well, actually, that's a continued date. Originally, we had a date back in May, May 2009, which they took didn't even get close on. And now this one is, is scheduled for this Monday, the 26th, but it's canceled. So anyone listening, please do not come. Don't spend your time, effort, and money to come here. Um, check our website, ObamaCrimes.com. It mentions it's been uh, continued. As soon as we get an opinion, we will, of course, mention it on your show, Webster, and post it on our, um, on our website. But, um, yeah, so let's, let's hope that the judges really look at it and uh, make a decision uh, for us and, and, and grant a standing and then send it back to lower court, <clears throat> at which time I'll probably ask for Judge Surik, um, because his opinion was so strong against me, probably ask him to recuse himself and go for another judge. So uh, let's just hold our, you know, let's everyone pray out there in, in whatever fashion you have that the judges of the uh, Third Circuit Court of Appeals will push aside any political connotations to this because it's not a political question, it's a legal question, and hopefully they will decide in our favor that I do have standing and we can proceed and uh, then make motions for discovery. Now, Bill, uh, we have this uh, question raised by Senator Lamar Alexander of Tennessee on the Senate floor about an Obama's enemy enemies list. And uh, you once mentioned uh, reports, I think, coming through a Canadian website about a whole department, the Bureau of the White House, which is dedicated solely to the question of the birth certificate and fighting the birth certificate and legal strategies and public relations. Do you have any more insight into that? Because it seems to me we're way beyond enemies lists. We've got enemies departments, uh, and uh, one of them deals precisely with your issue, the birth certificate and the uh, qualifications, natural born or not. I, no, I don't have any further information on there. I, I looked at the enemies list, I think, I'm not sure it was published, I think it was, but, uh, gee, I think I, I'm going to be insulted if I'm not on there. Well, I didn't make the cut either, so that makes two of us. Uh, it was published. There's a version of it in The Globe, which is the supermarket tabloid that has paid a lot of attention to Larry Sinclair and to uh, to the birth certificate issue also. I'm not sure that that's the real enemies list. Um, it's not clear where they got it. Uh, you see that Orly Tates is on the list. Uh, that's That can't be serious. Orly Tates self-destructs. You don't need to do anything to her, right? She tears herself down automatically by herself. Oh, I didn't see her name on the list, but um, it, it gives more uh, credibility to the fact that I think she's really working for Obama. And the, want to hear the funny thing now? She and through her cohorts are spreading words that I work for Obama. Please. <laughs> what a joke. Everything I've done has been 100% against Obama. I used to think that this is the biggest hoax by Obama in the history of our country. I think that Obama and Michelle Obama and Howard Dean and other officials at the DNC, Democratic National Committee, and campaign officials and senior now officials of the administration should be subjected to the criminal justice system, tried, and those convicted should go to jail. So if anyone thinks I'm working for Obama, please, it's not worth wasting your time talking about it. And again, it's coming from Orly and her cohorts. They put out all kinds of trash. Um, but in the long run, we see that I am there with three uh, cases in federal court pr producing um, the most legitimate uh, efforts against Obama, while um, Orly has been uh, fined twenty thousand dollars, and um, she refuses to pay it. So I, I can't wait to see what happens there because I think she has handled herself very unprofessionally. And um, I, uh, I appreciate being on your show. And everyone, go to Obamacrimes.com. We'll see you next week, Phil. Keep on keeping it. on, and obviously give Phil a contribution. Obamacrimes.com, and we'll be back in a minute. Thank you.